Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Five Minute Econometrics. Today, I will introduce fitted values and residuals. Suppose the population model is y equals beta zero plus beta one times x plus mu. We obtain the intercept and slope estimates, beta zero hat and beta one hat, by OLS from a given sample of data. The y hat is the fitted value. There is a fitted value for each observation. It equals the OLS estimator beta zero hat plus beta one hat times the explanatory variable x we observed. By definition, each fitted value of y i hat is on the OLS fitted line. Now we have an actual value y. And fitted value y hat for each observation. The OLS residual associated with observation i, mu i, is the difference between the actual value y i and its fitted value y i hat. There are n such residuals if the sample size is n. The fitted values and the residuals are illustrated in the graph. Y one, y two, and y i. Are the actual values of y in the sample we observed, while y1 hat, y2 hat, and yi hat are the fitted values we predict using the OLS estimates beta1 hat and beta0 hat and the observed values of x. The points of all the fitted values form a straight fitted line. It is the case if we assume a linear relationship between x and y. If we assume a quadratic relationship, the fitted line will be a curve. Let me show you the fitted values and residuals in Stata. We will use simulated data from a data generating process. We first set the seed and the number of observations. Setting the seed guarantees running the commands later will obtain the same random numbers. We use Stata's random number functions to generate the explanatory variable x and the error term mu. Then we generate the outcome variable y, which follows a relationship we assume y equals two plus three times x plus mu. Now we have the actual values of x and y. Next, we regress y on x by OLS. And obtain the fit values of y. The scatter plots of the actual values of y and the fit values of y provide a clear picture of what they look like. Some actual y's are above the fit y's. Some are below. In other words, some residuals are positive and some are negative.